it's Tuesday and today is day one of me trying to get my shit together and trying to be not be crazy if I can. I slept pretty good last night. I was really tired from all the like work I did outside so that helped a lot. I'm still taking sleeping pills because I just don't want to lay there awake all night. I dreamed of Andrew last night which was really, I don't know, it was weird. Um, he has not contacted me. I Yesterday, I after I, or actually, I don't know if it was after I made my vlog yesterday or during it, I texted him. Um, I had to text him some stuff that I did with our finances. So um, I texted him that and then I said, I love you and I'm not going to, I'll tell you exactly what I said, actually. I'm not leaving on Wednesday, not if there's any hope you want to work through this. I can't walk away from our life. I will stay here until you make a decision. If you want to end things, I will go. If you want to try, I will stay. But it's not fair to make you choose before you're ready just to ease my own pain. I hope you will come talk to me before you decide and I hope you'll see how hard I'm trying. I love you so much. I will do anything to save us. I won't contact you again unless you reach out to me. And then like 11 o'clock last night, I sent him an email. God damn it, what's wrong with me? I sent him an email and I was like, this is the last thing I'm gonna send you. And I swear it is, I'm not gonna send anything else. I'm not, I have to stop myself. But I sent him, him an email with like this long list of things that I felt that I could change about myself. This was probably a really stupid thing to do. But I sent him like this long list of things that I felt I could do to help us heal in our marriage and I just wanted him to know like all the work I was willing to put in that was I probably shouldn't have done that but I did and there's no going back I am not like I want I wish I could just snap my fingers and be like oh I realize everything that I do wrong and now boom I'm better but it doesn't work like that like I'm I'm doing better but I'm not better like I st I'm still doing this shit I'm still doing it I'm starting therapy tomorrow and I'm so nervous I'm so freaking nervous about it because it's a group therapy and it's like my worst nightmare to have to speak in front of a group. You know when you're you're a kid and you're like in school or high school and then you have to like say something in front of the whole class? That was like my worst nightmare and I feel like this is going to be the same thing only it's way worse because I have to tell everybody in the group how fucked up I am. Which I realize the irony in this I'm telling 25,000 people on YouTube but it's different because I can't see your reaction to me. You know, like they're going to be right there. So I don't know. I'm just really nervous about it, but I'm going to do it. Like I'm going to make myself do it, but I'm scared. I have to get my computer like set up to do a Zoom call and everything by tomorrow as well. But anyway, he has not responded to any of that. He didn't respond to those texts. He didn't respond to the email. I don't know um, how he feels about any of this. I wish he would just tell me something, you know. Just anything, even if it's that he just doesn't want to do this anymore, just something. I'm trying to be respectful and give him his space. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm failing a lot, but I'm trying. So, next on the agenda is I've got to go out there and clean out that shed, and I really don't want to do it. God knows what's in there. I mean, that's just been like the place where we've thrown junk for like two years. And there's probably like spiders and God knows what in there. I, I don't know. But I have to do it today because they're coming to take the dumpster away tomorrow. So I have to get all that stuff cleared out of there. But I, I dread this task. I really do. But I know I'm going to feel really good once I get it done. Um, I have lost a lot of weight and it has not been in a healthy way. I've hardly eaten anything over the past week. Oh, it's been over a week now. It's been eight days um since Andrew left so I've hardly eaten anything at all and I'm starting to be able to like tell I feel like my skin's looking bad and I just don't feel as strong as I should um I need to make myself eat at this point so I'm going to cook some food in a minute um I have like eaten one or a half of a burger patty a night just to get my stomach to shut up and that's been it so I do not recommend anybody do that, but I will tell you that I weighed myself and I'm down to 159 pounds. So I'm not sad that I'm down to 159 pounds. That is my lowest weight that I have been in 15 years. So 
I feel good about that. I know I didn't do it in a good way. Like, I guess, no, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not even gonna say that. It's not healthy, don't do it, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. So I am about to cook some eggs and bacon because I need like a real meal and I'm really sick of eating burger patties. So let's cook so I can have some strength to go do the work outside I need to do. All right, so I got my cast iron here. I'm about to cook some of this Applegate Farms bacon that I had in the fridge. Um, I haven't had to cook, or I haven't had to buy any food because I've been eating so little. But I'm about to make myself eat a meal because I need the strength. I think I can get about like five pieces of this bacon in here. And it's okay if I don't eat it all because I can save some for later, which that's good because I don't want to cook again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five pieces. I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to get this cooking. Alright, I'm going to get the heat on that and then get a little higher. And then I'm going to crack some eggs. Got my measuring cup over here. God, I hope these eggs are still good. What's the date on these bad boys? February 24th. We're good. We're good. Um, like I said, I just have food in the fridge that's kind of old because I haven't been eating anything. But these are still alright. So I'm going to do... I'm just going to do two eggs. Like, I really don't think I'm going to eat more than that right now. I don't want to eat anything. Everything just tastes like ash in my mouth. I have no appetite at all, but I just have to, and like, I just have this constant knot of pain in my stomach every second that I'm awake. So it's really hard to do basic things like this. Um, vlogging, it helps though. It really does. It helps me to do it. Shit, I packed up my whisk, y'all. I still have not unpacked the stuff that I packed, so maybe I can use this big one. Yeah, that'll work. I got this little tiny amount of eggs and this big giant whisk in this cup. Oh God, y'all. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just trying to get through like one minute at a time. That's my strategy at this point, is one minute to the next. My plan today is to spend probably the next four hours working outside. And then I, after I finish my video, I can edit that and upload that and get that ready to publish tomorrow. And then hopefully it'll be dark and I can go pass out. I just have to keep myself working on something because if I just sit, it's, it gets bad for me. Okay, the bacon's starting to cook. I'm gonna get a plate and probably a big plate. Put some paper towels on it. I do hope to hear from Andrew today. Um, I've never gone a, like a full day without him texting me something. It may not be what I want to hear, but I, God, I hope I hear something because. I'm having a really hard time not contacting him, like really hard. But that reminds me, uh, I just want to thank you guys so much. Let me get away from this bacon. I want to thank you guys so much for all of your donations. Man, I was not expecting that, but you guys just um, gave me a lot of donations and um, I'm going to use that to pay for all my therapy. So any of your donations that you made through Buy Me A Coffee or my PayPal link, um, I am going to put that in a special fund that's just for paying for my therapy or anything that I need related to that. Um, if I have to move, obviously I will use it for that. <laughs> but um, literally you guys are paying for like six months of therapy for me. So I can't thank you enough for that. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> and it just like makes me cry. And all of your messages and your emails and everything i i'm sorry that i haven't been able to reply it's just a lot but i have read a lot of it and i god it's it's so kind and it's so nice it's so nice to hear that people understand and don't think i'm just some insane monster so thank you so one of the things that really soothes my soul when i'm really upset or any time in my life all the time in my life is i love to sing I'm not the greatest at it, but I really like to do it. 
Like my secret dream was always to be a singer in a band. Like, you know that secret dream that you never tell anybody because you just feel like there's no way it would ever happen. But if you could really do anything in the world, that's what I would do because I love to sing. It just like brings me happiness. So I've been singing all morning just to try to lift my spirit some. Um, and this is the first day I've been able to sing. Usually I sing every day, so this is the first day in eight days I've been able to sing, so I feel like I'm making some improvement. There's a fire burning in my heart Reaching a fever pitch, it's running me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your ship bare See how I leave with every piece of you. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. All right, everything's done. So I'm just gonna put this on a plate and try to force myself to eat two eggs and two pieces of bacon at least. <sighs> God. Okay. I just, oh, I don't wanna eat. I don't wanna eat this, but I need the strengths because Yesterday was kind of tough. I didn't eat anything until like 6 or 7 p.m. after I had done all that shit outside and it was like feeling terrible. I mean, the eggs actually taste pretty good. I just, I don't know. I just don't care about eating right now. The dogs want in. The dogs smell egg and, eggs and bacon. That's what it is. That's why they want it in. I always give them a piece of my egg. So during times like this when I'm really sad, I haven't really been able to listen to a lot of music because almost all of the music that I love reminds me of Andrew because it's all stuff that I started listening to after I met him. So I can really only go back and listen to stuff that I liked before I met him and even some of that reminds me of him because like it was stuff that I introduced to him and we started to listen to together. Like there are some albums that just remind me of road trips we went on together and stuff like that. Or there's like shows that we went to together. It's really hard. I remember going through this same thing when I, my first husband left me. Um, I couldn't listen to one of my favorite bands, which is No Effects. I couldn't listen to them for years because that was his favorite band. It wasn't my favorite band, band at the time. It was his favorite band. And he loved them and he knew how to play all their songs on guitar and like... Um, it was just, you know, he introduced them to me, and so it reminded me of him so much that I couldn't listen to it for years. Now I can listen to it all the time, and I don't even think of him. So I know it will get better, but it's just like, in the beginning, it's so hard with music. And I love music. Music is a huge part of my life, and it's been really hard for me not listening to anything, because it just makes me freaking sad. So, one thing that I started listening to, though, is Adele. I love Adele, and boy, if you want to feel, like, really fierce and strong... <laughs> After somebody leaves you, go listen to Adele. I also surprisingly have started to really like Miley Cyrus. Which is weird for me because I usually do not like kind of like mainstream pop music at all. <coughs> except for Adele is the only exception. <coughs> I just I just really like Miley Cyrus as a person. I like I don't know, I just like her music. I don't know what to say. So I've been listening to her some too. And that doesn't remind me of I mean it kinda does because it's all about fucking breakups and shit, but I'm just trying to do anything I can to like soothe my soul right now. When I, If I wanted to be sad, I would go listen to the Smashing Pumpkins. That's what I normally do when somebody leaves me, like ever since I was like 13 years old. That's my go-to. When somebody leaves me, I listen to Smashing Pumpkins because it's fucking sad and I just want to sit there and cry, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to sit here and cry anymore. I've cried for a week straight. I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to start trying to feel better, you know, even if it has to be alone. I mean, it's if Andrew ends up not coming back to me, it's going to take me years, years. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever get over him. I don't know if I ever will, but chances are I probably will, but it's going to take a long time. So I'm just going to start now, like trying to feel better for myself. That's all I can do. What else can I do? I can't just sit here and wallow in misery. That hurts too much, so. Oh, and the way that I started to like Miley Cyrus is I heard her cover of Nothing Else Matters by Metallica and I was like, holy shit, that is good. I was like, I don't listen to more music by her because I just knew her as like the Disney Channel shit and like going crazy in her adolescence and early 20s. 
Um, but then, so then I started listening to like other co covers that she did and she, she is such a great singer. Um, and then she came out with this new song that's just like perfect for my situation. So I was like, yes, I'm now a Miley Cyrus fan. Who would, who would have ever thought me? All right, I'm just about to make some water and then go outside. I gotta get my cup here. Um, gonna make some electrolyte water. Then I'm gonna go outside and get started. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. And it gets dark at like 4.30, so I've got to go out there and bust my ass now to try to get all this done. Oh my God, I can't get the ice out of this stupid thing. Jesus Christ. Anyway, there's a bunch of like boxes and stuff in there that really honestly, they should be recycled, but at this point, I just don't care. I just, I have to get rid of this shit. I have to get rid of it and get it out of here. And obviously, I don't have any way to recycle anything right now, so doing the best I can. But that's just like where we've thrown our boxes. It's, it's really, it's really stupid. We've just like thrown our old boxes and stuff in there for like five years, so it's pretty bad. And there's like some old bicycles in there, like an old chair. I don't, I don't know what, what I'm going to find out there, but I'm going to move it all into that dumpster. I know dogs, we're going right now. All right, let's go. There's a dead squirrel in the shed, right in the doorway, a dead squirrel. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. There's two dead squirrels over there. How the hell are there two dead squirrels? Did they kill each other? How, what is that? Oh my God. Y'all, I, I don't, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I don't know how to handle dead animals. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm sorry for this dog that keeps barking over here at this fence, but he will not stop. So there's nothing I can do about it. That was the most horrible thing I've ever had to do. I just had to shovel up two large dead squirrels, put them into a trash bag and take them to the dumpster. One of them, I won't describe it to you, okay? But they weren't too bad, but it was just, what the hell are they, were they doing here? I don't understand why they were in there. One of them was outside of the door. Like when I moved that big door back, there was a dead squirrel right there. And then the other one was inside of the shed. <sighs> that was horrible and disturbing. And I would like to forget about that for the rest of my life. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna start trying to clean stuff out of here and I hope I don't find any more dead animals in here. Hey, you know what, I'm gonna go put gloves on. Okay, I just want to kind of give y'all an idea of what I'm looking at in here. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's hope the light adjusts. So there's all this stuff over here that I got to get out. But there's like a lot of this is just open space. There's like a bike in there. A ladder. There's even like a loft up here. There's a lot of graffiti in here. This was in here when we bought the house. Which I think it was done like when this house was sat empty. There's like some kind of turtle over there. I don't know what the hell that is. There's a lot of like paint and stuff up there. I'm just gonna leave that there. All I really wanna get out are all these boxes and trash and like old chairs and stuff like that. There's another old grill that needs to go. There's my streaming light over there. If you ever wonder what happened to that.
making progress, but uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it finally happened. There's a box covered in spiders over there and I have already, oh my God, I have already picked it up and carried it out of the shed and now I just was about to grab it to take it to the dumpster and it's got spiders all over it. Oh my God. Oh. Y'all, spiders are my biggest fear. I cannot handle spiders. I feel like I have spiders crawling all over me now. Luckily, I got all the boxes out of the shed. I'm not touching that box. It's just gonna sit there. I don't, I can't. Ooh, ooh. Oh God. It's like a nest. There's like, I see five spiders on top. Y'all look at this, it is crawling with spiders. Do you see those? Where it says, do not cut case. There's like three spiders there. There's one down there. There's some on the other side too. I'm not touching this thing. I don't wanna walk by it. I just used the shovel to kind of shove it out of the way. I don't even wanna go back in the shed, honestly. I'm freaked out, but I'll show you guys. I got it almost like cleared out, look. There's just like some stuff that I can't put in the dumpster. I would put that grill in there, but there's no way I can carry that by myself. So it's just gonna have to stay. Um, everything else in here is just gonna have to stay. So I think I'm done with this one. It still needs to be like swept out and stuff, but I'm not doing that today. So now we move on to this shed over here. Okay, so this is a shed that we keep locked and we don't really use it very much. It looks to me like a mouse has been living in here, which, that's cool, I guess. Um, there's just like a few boxes and stuff in here I'm gonna try to clear out, but um, our lawnmower's in here. I'm just gonna try to get a couple things out of here. Y'all, Andrew just texted me. He texted me, would you like to walk the dogs together one day? And I said, yes. Oh my God, oh my God. And now, see now my, my thought, my urge, my impulse, is to text him, what time, what day? Can we do it today? You wanna to do it tomorrow? Like, just like ambush him. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna say yes. And I'm gonna see what he says after that. Oh my God, he wants to see me again. I cannot ruin this. I cannot ruin this. Guess what else I found in the shed? My old hula hoop. Look. This is not a... So I used to hoop. This is not a like child's hula hoop. This is like a weighted hula hoop for dancing, for hoop dance. I wonder if I can still do it. I'm gonna have to hose this thing off though. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna see if I can still do it. Well, it's been 30 minutes and he hasn't texted anything back, but I'm just gonna leave it alone because he's obviously thinking about coming to see me and that's the most I've gotten so far. So I'm not gonna screw this up with my stupid impulses. I'm not. <sighs> okay, let's see if I can still hoop dance. Can still do that. I am really out of practice. I am really rusty. Can still do a few things though. I can't get it back up my body anymore and get it down. That's a lot easier to do now that I'm not so fat. Um, the last time I was dancing, I was a lot fatter. So I used to practice a lot and be able to do a lot of things, but I suck now. You know what? I think I'm gonna take it up again. I think I'm gonna start practicing again. It's really fun when you can do like tricks and stuff. Well, I did everything I could do outside. I got everything out that I possibly could. There's a few more things I would have liked to have gone in the dumpster that I just couldn't carry myself, but I feel like I did a pretty good job and I am tired. It was a lot of work. Um, I'm really tired, but I'm really proud of myself for getting that done. And I'm really happy that Andrew texted me something today. 
um, and he's thinking about coming to see me, so I have a little bit of hope there. If he wants to go and walk the dogs, like, we could really talk, and I think maybe he doesn't want to come in the house and talk because he's afraid I'm gonna, like, break down, but if we go to the park, maybe I'd be less likely to be crazy, so... Um, if that's what he's thinking, that's fine with me. I understand that. But I haven't heard back from him. I'm really hoping he wants to go tomorrow, but I'm not going to pressure him or push him to do that. I know that he's off work tomorrow. Um, after that, I don't know any of his schedule, so we'll see. So for tonight, um, it's going to get dark here in just a little bit. I am going to wash clothes. I need to wash my laundry really bad, and I want to take a bath because I, I am I feel filthy after being out in those old sheds and like all those spider boxes and stuff. So I want to take a bath and I don't know. I'll probably just clean up the kitchen and take a unisom and go to sleep, honestly. And hope that I hear something tomorrow. It's like every day I wake up with hope and then as the day goes on, I get more and more anxious and upset like that he's not going to come today and... But at least I get a text. That's something. Tomorrow's also my first day of therapy, which is at like 5 p.m. 5 to 6 p.m. Why did I choose that time? I should have chosen an earlier time of the day. I got to choose and that's what I chose. Um, so yeah, all day I'm going to be anxious about this. I should have done it like the earliest possible session so I wouldn't have to be anxious all day. But um, I'm really nervous about this group therapy thing. I know it's dark in here, but I don't really feel it. I'm going to turn the overhead light on. I don't really care if it looks like shit. I don't feel like setting up my lights in here right now. So um, I'm gonna make some tea, some green tea, like a whole pitcher of it because I need something to drink. I drank all my electrolyte water already and I don't wanna drink two of those. And I don't want just plain water. So I'm gonna make some tea. I just have this box of like Kroger green tea bags and I think it's pretty good. And I use four of these tea bags to make a quart of water. Or not a quart. I think it's two quarts of tea. Did I say a quart of water? Oh my god. Two quarts of tea. Ugh, my stove is a mess. Um, so I just bring the water to a boil and then I put the four tea bags in and I let it steep for five minutes and then I strain it and fill the rest of the pitcher up with water. Oh, and while we're waiting on the water to boil, I just wanted to comment on one thing. So I had a couple people um, ask if I'd considered medication or thought about medication. Um, I know a lot of people aren't really familiar with personality disorders, but there's no medication for that. Um, there is no, absolutely no medication to treat BPD or any other personality disorders. Um, the only cure, so to speak, is therapy. That is the only way you can recover is through therapy. And it's specific types of therapy. If you have like anxiety and depression along with your BPD, then you can take medication for those symptoms, but it will not affect the underlying disorder at all. So yeah, if, if it was just as easy as taking medication to fix it, I would have been taking medication a long time ago and we wouldn't be in this situation. But it's way, it, this is like an emotional attachment disorder and it's not something that can be fixed with drugs. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there for anybody who was wondering. Um, I was on Wellbutrin for years and uh, it helped my depression, but it didn't really help anything else. Um, I'm not, I don't have uh, depression anymore. Well, right now I have kind of a situational depression, but I don't have like major depressive disorder or anything. So taking those meds doesn't really do anything for me. All right, the water's almost boiling. I'll just stare at it until it bubbles. I'm gonna go ahead and take my tea bags out. I, I always take them out of the package beforehand. And I mean, this is not the best quality green tea in the world, but it's it's pretty good for my purposes. And I just make it like I would make regular black iced tea, like we make tea in the South. <laughs> this is it. My mom used to make tea, but she would let this tea bag sit in there for like 30 minutes. I steeped that shit for five minutes. Okay, it's boiling, so I'm going to turn it off and put the tea bags in. Y'all, it is driving me crazy that Andrew asked if I want to walk the dogs and then didn't make any concrete plans with me. Like, I just want to know, like, when can I expect this to happen? 
is it gonna be soon? Is he just saying this? Like, it's not enough detail for me. And I'm try I'm just, I'm not texting him. I'm not messaging him. But it's just making me crazy. Like, do you want to walk the dog someday, one day or something like this is what he said. Like, that could be in three months. What does that mean? I need to know. I mean, surely he's thinking like soon or he wouldn't say that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's making me crazy. Okay, I'm gonna set the timer for five. But I'm not giving in, okay? I'm not giving in to my desire to text him and ask him a million questions about it. I'm just letting it be. Just letting it be. I did, okay, I did text him one more time. Oh my God. I texted him one more time. And I said, just let me know when is good for you. I'm free anytime except for, and I gave him the hours of my therapy session on Wednesdays. 5 p.m. on Wednesdays. So, um, damn it. That was not him. That was my therapy. Every time my phone goes off, I'm like, is it him? Is it him? This is a reminder for my therapy session. So, yeah, it's in 24 hours from now, and I'm getting so nervous. If you've ever done group therapy, let me know what it's like. Is it scary? Because I'm scared. I don't like talking in front of a group. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Maybe I should, ju should have just gone one-on-one, -on -one, but like this way I didn't have to talk to anybody to make the appointment. So it just forced me to do it and it was easier for me to do. And because it was DBT specifically, I don't know. I don't know. I will let you know how it goes, but I'm scared. So I just got my course manual in an email for my first session. And y'all, this makes me even more nervous about this because it says stuff like offer support, validation, and suggestions to others. Building relationships between group members happens through active involvement with one another, which is also a great way to develop your interpersonal effectiveness skills. I gotta tell you, that is very scary to me. I don't want to talk to people. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really don't know how I'm going to do this. This sounds very intimidating to me. See and encourage the best in others and yourself. Give others the benefit of the doubt. Well, I can do that. People are in this group because they need to learn and practice new behaviors, including new skills for relating to others. It makes me really nervous that I'm gonna, have, I, I can't give suggestions to other people. What the hell am I gonna say? And then so like our outline is like week one is introductions and DBT basics. This is what I'm dreading so much is the introduction. That is what I dread the most. It's like, if they're gonna be like, let's go around the group and introduce ourselves. And like, what if they ask me, why are you here? What am I supposed to say? I fucking ruin every relationship in my life and I've, I'm out of my mind. Like, what am I gonna say to that? I, I gotta come up with, now I have to come up with like a little blurb and like memorize it and like try not to sound in completely, you know, crazy. And I just, I hate this whole thing. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? I hate this whole thing. Like I wanna learn DBT, but like, why did I do this in a group session? I don't know. I just wanna make it clear that I am going to do this. I am gonna push myself outside of my comfort zone and I'm going to do it. But I'm scared and nervous and anxious and not really looking forward to the group aspect of it. So, um, I don't know. I I'm gonna do it, but it just, it worries me a lot. All right, y'all look at the dirty dishes in my sink. Um, I'm gonna clean the kitchen up here in a little bit, but I'm gonna, I just do this over the sink to pour the tea in. And then I just go fill it all the rest of the way up with water. All right, and now I've got green tea. I'm really freaking thirsty. I think because I worked outside so much. Where's the lid? I have this lid to put on the top. Okay, so yeah, I'm just feeling really anxious. I don't know. Uh, I just, I have to do it. No matter what, I'm going to be anxious going into my first therapy, no matter what. I know that, like, it, it's not going to be comfortable and I just have to be able to deal with the discomfort in order to get better So that's what I'm gonna do as much as it sucks for me. Um, it's gonna be worth it in the end I know all right guys, so I'm gonna go and like I said, I'm gonna do some laundry clean the kitchen take a bath edit my video and then go to bed and I will see you all with a new vlog very soon and let you know how my therapy went. Thank you so much for watching and again Thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me and especially thank you for your donations. Like, God, that was so kind of you. And um, I really, like, I'm going to be able to do therapy now because of you. So thank you so much. And um, 
I hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.